Hello and welcome to True Guidance Tarot. I'm Adriana Teter Dyer. I'm a practicing spiritual medium and intuitive reader, your personal guide to a clearer perspective. I have a message for Scorpio today. This is a channeled message from the other side and from my guides. And let's jump right in. Scorpio, this is a tough week. If you're the kind of person that really likes to be in the middle of the fray, in the middle of the battle, this is maybe a tough week for you. Let's get straight in. So we've got the Four of Swords for the energy that the universe sends you this week. And I'm actually feeling a bit of turbulence with this card, not with the figure, but with the environment. So it is very likely that there is a lot of chaos or just kind of unsettled energy around you. We've got Mercury retrograde starting today, and it's in Aquarius, right? It's in an air sign. So the air is more disturbed than usual. The communication, the whatever it is, is disturbed. So this card, the universe is presenting you with a challenge to really keep your head level during these times, not to get swept by, swept away with what's going on with other people, what's going on in the general energy out there. This is just about keeping yourself calm and clear headed. Now, I think what I feel happens next, we've got the two of swords for your response to it. It's almost like because there's so many conflicting energies out there and you're not quite sure what to do with those conflicting energies, you feel just completely like at a loss, at a deadlock. You don't know where to go. And there's no pushing you a certain direction. There's no pulling you a certain direction. I'm a little more drawn to this side of the path, which leads us back into this Four of Swords kind of restful, level-headed energy. But there's a feeling like I don't know where to go. I don't know which path to choose. I don't know what to do. So it's kind of this feeling of an impasse and feeling a, a little bit um, lost and frustrated and feeling those, those energies right now. And, um, and what I have to tell you is that it's, it's on purpose, it's for a reason, but we're, we're talking about how to navigate this for you this week. So let's keep moving with these cards. We have the King of Swords on this side, we've got the Hermit, and then facing the Princess of Wands. The Princess of Wands represents immature or premature action. I'm gonna put him down for a second. It's simply just not the right time to take action. And I'm not talking about like sitting in your house all day doing nothing, but for this big soul direction, the next step on your soul journey, the message right now is it's just not time to, to make that move forward. There's not enough information coming through for you. There's not enough clear information coming through for you. Again, the chaotic background I'm feeling here in this card, it's just not, it's not the correct timing. Um, let's look at the King of Swords a bit. Nope, they're saying go back to the Hermit. So we've got the Hermit kind of looking at this. The Hermit is that master of internal timing. And so what this time is, is a chance for you to really take a personal retreat into yourself and ask for illumination on what's, oh, this is interesting, on what's going on with other people. So it's actually kind of like, leave your path for a second. Don't worry about your path. You don't need to make any big decisions on it right now. You're in a good place, it's fine. But what they're asking you to do is actually back up and reflect on what's going on with other people. Reflect on why people are acting the way they're acting. Uh, so interesting, because when I asked before, I said, is this the Scorpio's energy? And they said, no, this is someone else's. But I didn't get a specific who. It's because it's everyone else's energy and everyone else's actions. So it's just kind of asking yourself to look at everything that's going on. Get a read of what's going on around you in your personal environment, in the bigger environment, wherever you find your focus going. This is about gathering information and learning. It's not about judging or critiquing. It's really about learning. There's something that you have to learn by kind of pulling yourself back and just watching and listening. So after you've gathered all that information, then we look at this King of Swords and your King of Swords is able to make the correct decision because he's got all the facts. It's so interesting because in the middle of 
in the beginning of your reading, we had all those sword cards, and here he is, the master of that energy. You're going to have all the information you need, and you're going to see the direction that you're needing to go in because of where everything is. It's almost like there's, cert there's a lot of different options, but you need to kind of check in and see what's actually happening on the ground out in front of you. And then you make the strategy to move forward and you figure out how to navigate based on what you're getting back. This King of Swords is really an interesting energy because it's non-emotional. It's completely, um, huh, rational isn't quite the right word because he's someone who observes, takes in everything he's observing and then figures out what to do. He's got this decision that points upwards towards the heavens or towards the divine. So whatever he decides to do is always going to be in line with the greatest good, at least in this particular reading. He might have a different meaning in, a, in another reading. But we're looking for that decision that really takes into account more than just you. It takes into account you in, con in the context of the world and helps you see exactly which way you're supposed to go. So this is definitely not a week just to do some blind action just for the sake of action. It's, and it's not even, um, it's really important that you stay out of judgment with other people. It's very important that you just take in the facts of, okay, I see this person in this place, they're doing these actions. Okay, why are they doing these actions? That's interesting. Okay, I see this other person, they're doing these actions. Why are they? So you're, you're constantly just bringing in all this information. And I know that having all of this information will give you the best framework to make your next move. You're going to be coming from on top of the hill rather than down on the ground. So on top of the hill means you've got the best perspective, the best view, and you're actually able to look out into the future. There's a big metaphor there when you're on a, you have a high view. So you're on a, in a high rise or you're on the top of a mountain or a hill, you can look out and see what's actually happening. So a king in the, in the medieval times or in the ancient times, he might be on a hill and he might be seeing an army approaching, right? Um, an invading army. So he knows what the future is gonna look like. It's the ability to see the future, but it's gathering from the information of the present. So then I ask for advice. You have the lovely Prince of Cups. And this is saying that once you get this all sorted out in your head, there's going to be like a, like this kind of impulse that runs through your heart that's immediately going to tell you exactly where to go. So your heart's there, but we've got to get all this information kind of set and uh, organized in your head before the heart's able to leap you towards that direction of what you're seeking. So this is to remind you that you haven't lost your mission, you haven't lost your purpose. This is not that you're not moving forward. It's just a time that moving forward means gathering information, taking in more, more things, asking more questions, and really understanding the landscape very, very, very closely. This is to remind you that your heart's desire is still there within you. It's still being answered. The universe is still going to give it to you. It's still talking to you. It's just right now you're in a different phase of the journey. Okay, so any questions about that, please reach out. And you know, I always love to hear from you in the comments section. And um, what else do I have to tell you? Oh, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, I would um, ask that you consider subscribing to help us keep growing. And um, you're also welcome to check out my website, trueguidancetarot.com. If you're in need of some personal guidance, there's lots of different offerings on there. So I look forward to seeing you next week either way and have a good one.